Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, we will discuss an important topic in Power Platform Copilot Studio. How to connect a third party web API using a HTTP request from Copilot. I have already published a blog where I have explained that top 15 free web APIs that you can use for testing purpose. Let's say I want to take one web API which is available in this JSON plus holder URL or web API and I want to call this web API external web API from my copilot studio. So how I can configure that I will tell you that. So let me go here and add a new action in the node. I have a topic called this greetings. In this greetings topics in copilot studio I can click on advanced and in the advanced I can choose send HTTP request using send HTTP request using send HTTP request you can send a HTTP request to an external web API URL now here you have to mention the URL and once the URL is mentioned you have to provide the HTTP method whether it is a get or post or patch put delete depending on your web api call method or then if you want to edit headers and body of the http request you can edit this by defining your body and header information that request for your web api call if it is not required you can keep it as it is default i don't want to change it because this web api do not require any additional header formatting and body formatting and and response i want to keep it in a variable and using from sample data right because when i access this web api it returns with a response that response is a json object which is having user id id title and body i can copy this sample and use it in here from sample data and get schema from sample JSON and put it your sample return type. Okay, now we have created a variable. Now we capture the response data type as a JSON schema and I want to store this information in a variable. So how can I do that? I can do that using select a variable and create a new variable. I want to store in a variable and I want to give a name. Let's say I want to give the variable is var API response. Right? And in here, the information will be stored. Now, if I want to display the message of the response that is received from this web API call, I can click on a send message and display the information here. What information I can display? I can scroll down and type here. Here is the response from Web API. Now here I want to put the user ID first. So what user ID it is returning? I can use the dynamic content here using X, where all variables are available, and use the json objects like body id title user id so i can take user id and assign dynamically to use that variable information next id then title then description now this is the information that we are getting as a response from the web api right so i'll go to the id and use the id also all these variables are auto created because of this previous response capture then we have id then we'll also connect title using this x option so i will connect id then i can connect title and these are the properties of the JSON that I am connecting dynamically from the previous response variable and description. 
or it is called as body now i can save it now i can test it right you can also call your any web api that requires authentication also you can call dataverse web api you can pass information about the authentication to call it right so i'm just displayed here a simple which requires no authentication but you can do it using this edit header and body information where you can pass your authentication in header and request body in the body tag right now i can click on here and test it let me test it let me hit a hi and see if it is calling this http request or not and it should call and display the information that is received you see guys here is the response from web api user id is one id is one title is this and description is this right if you want to display in a separate line you can uh, display the message in different uh, uh, different variations you can use message variations then it will display or you can you can display as a basic card structure if you use basic card it will display a card instead of uh, displaying a uh, specific uh, uh, specific message in a group so you can connect what do you want to display in the title and display in the title fpi response title and subtitle i want to display the user id and in the image i don't want you can also use images it is telling that it, it expecting a string so you can use a string let's say you want to use uh, title is done uh, api user id if also it is a number you can convert it there is no issue in the text i want to connect the body so if you are if you are assigning a string variable from a number variable then you can go here and use a formula so you can use a formula text text is used to convert uh, data types from number to text what is the variable topic dot variable api response dot then id so depending on requirement you have to use this now it is converted and assigned now if you save it it will display as a card if you test it let me test it quickly now i want to refresh it working with copilot studio is very interesting guys if you take time to work with this copilot studio then it is very interesting to design chat boards so let me see a high message here now it will display a card for me by displaying the response from this http call you see guys title is displaying id is displaying and the description is displaying it's kind of a card i hope you understand how it works how to send http request to external api calls okay you can explore all advanced features that is included like you can also set activities and event generate answers right using generative ai hope it helps thank you everyone see you next time bye